Hello everyone, today is day 60 of my 60 pounds and 90 days weight loss challenge. We're two thirds of the way done. I'm just a little over two thirds of my weight lost. And uh, today I want to give you some tips on how to deal with boring meals when you're trying different keto fasts. So if any of you are following me on Instagram or you've been watching my videos the last several days, you'll know that I'm on day five of my uh, take two on an egg fast. So I did three days, I broke the fast one day, and now I'm on day five again. So that's eight days out of the last nine days that I've been on an egg fast. Uh, the only things that I'm eating on the days when I'm on my egg fast is a bowl of iceberg lettuce along with my hard boiled eggs on top and some dressing. Um, olive oil based dressing and so that's kind of my modified egg fast uh, because I am getting the leafy greens that people don't include in their egg fast. Uh, it's not, you know, iceberg lettuce doesn't have a lot of substance to it so it's not too far from uh, the traditional egg fast but it is still something different so that's why I've been calling it a modified egg fast. Uh, but what I've gotten are a lot of comments saying, oh, you can't eat that every day. On day two, they're like, I'm already tired of it. And so while I understand that, uh, I do have a few tips that I think might be able to help you. Uh, I'm, I have three tips that I'm going to give you. I'm going to start with the easiest. So the first thing that I would say is to deal with a boring diet, whether you're on an egg fast or whether you're trying... Uh, just to eat the same food every day because you know it fits in your macros or whether you got a good deal on a bunch of chicken legs and so you're trying to uh, save money for a week. The first tip that I have for you is to do meal prep. Uh, if you meal prep, you already know what you're going to eat. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to prepare it. If you're trying to prepare your food each day or even every meal, Every time you're preparing food, you have a chance to sneak something else in or to change your mind. If you already have the food planned for a week, then uh, guess what? Now you only have that one day when you're when you've already made up your mind and you're resolved to do your egg fast or your uh, meal planning for the week or whatever it is that you want to do. You're doing it all that one day for the week, and you sit down and you do it. And then the food's already ready. Then it's easier. And I'll tell you what, it's a lot easier to be lazy about what you're going to eat than it is to go and say, oh, I'm going to fix something different even though I already have this meal prepared. So that gives you two pieces of motivation to eat the same thing uh, every day like an egg fast in that number one, you're trying to stick to your fast. And number two, you've already got it prepared. So it's just easier. My second tip is just to stay busy. I've been so busy for the last couple of weeks, I haven't even had time to think about eating something else anyway. Um, I've been using my breaks at work to go uh, for walks instead of eating snacks. That keeps my mind off of food. Um, I told you the other day that I had some people that were renting my house that are moving out. Uh, so I have a lot of stuff to do over there. And so I haven't had really time in the mornings to sit around and, and think about eating. So if you plan other activities, um, and they could be productive activities or fun activities or whatever kind of activity you want. But if you plan other activities when you would typically be eating or uh, be tempted to snack or um, to, to be sitting around and being hungry, then I think that that will help you uh, not worry about what it is that you're eating because the only thing you're doing when you're eating is trying to fit it in. Uh, so if you're so busy, if you just get yourself so busy, uh, take a class, take an online class or something and uh, really get involved in it. something that you enjoy so that you're not bored doing it. And I think that that'll help you stick to your plan too because you just don't have time to think about eating something else. And uh, my last tip, tip number three, is the hardest because it's a mental challenge. If we start thinking about food differently than we have in the past, because I know I've been obese, I'm still overweight, uh, I still have more weight to lose and it's a struggle for me at this point, but I'm working on it. Um, I know that uh, if you've struggled with weight your whole life the way I have, we have mental problems with food, right? Like we get part of our di identity from food. In fact, if I want to go on vacation, the first thing I'm thinking is, oh, there's going to be new places to eat. I mean, that's like the number one place uh, reason to go on vacation to me is to find new places to eat, try new foods. 
Um, so, you know, my entire life kind of revolved around what I was going to eat. Now I don't really feel that way so much because I've been uh, really struggling with this diet um, and getting in line with my macros and everything for going on two years now. Uh, and like I said, I did take a hiatus where I was in and out of ketosis and stuff, which does not work because then all you do is wind up mixing high fat with high carbs and it's like really sends you down the rabbit hole. Um, but I've been doing this diet long enough that it has started to shape my mind in the direction that I need it to go. And the direction that I need it to go is to think of food as nutrition. Think of eating as something that I need to do to get through my day as opposed to something that is the highlight of my day. And uh, it's, it's very difficult. I still struggle with it. Um, if you're eating things that are sugar laden and lead to more cravings, ups and downs in your blood sugar, that is definitely going to make it harder to do that. Uh, because my, um, the way I see it, the way I understand it, part of the reason that I'm able to do this more now than I used to be is because I am on a ketogenic diet and so my energy levels are constant, they're steady, they are uh, fairly good, and that keeps me from having the crashes which signal hunger and signal me uh, that I need sugar to pick that blood sugar back up. Uh, so this diet I think does help us uh, with some of those mental issues, but some of us are emotional eaters, some of us are eat, eat when we're bored, which I'm very guilty of. Um, and what we need to do is we need to stop that. We need to stop thinking about food as... Um, we need to stop thinking about food as a refuge and start thinking about it as a tool. And if we use that tool properly, we will get what we want from our bodies and our energy levels in life. So... That's my third tip. That's the hardest one. But if you could get even the first two done, I think that it'll help you a lot, especially because these fasts are not super long term. I mean, it's not going to hurt you for three or four days if all you eat is eggs. Um, but it is it is a little bit boring. And uh, those, you know, meal prepping and then keeping yourself busy with other tasks and then trying not to think about food as a treat, but just as nutrition is also going to help. So let me know if you have any tips uh, for these people down below. Uh, some of them don't like eggs. I don't really have a tip for that. Maybe this isn't the right fast for you. You can probably design a meal that is... In fact, I'm going to try to do that. It's probably going to be a week or two. I'm going to try to design a day of eating that fits exactly uh, in the macros that we're shooting for. That 5% or less carbs, 70% or more fat, 20 to 25% protein. I'm going to try to design a full day of eating um, that's easy to prepare that you can uh, just copy day after day if you don't want to do an egg fast But you want to hit those macros just right every day and then I'll post it down below the videos uh, So that you can access that and hopefully it'll help some people out that are having uh, that are struggling with what to eat Anyway, like the video subscribe below hit the little bell so you can get notified when my new videos come out and uh, Here's my weigh-in for the day. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. 258.4